2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 5 tells us, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our afflictions, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction, with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. There's a promise throughout the Bible that we see of comfort. We see constant words of encouragement that say when we walk through suffering, God will be with us. Isaiah 41.10 says, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. He defends us through our trials and holds us in his hand. He is our refuge and he is our strength and our ever-present help in times of trouble. Psalms 121, 2 and 3 says, Our help comes from the Lord, who made everything. He will not allow us to stumble, and he will not slumber. God does not slumber. He is still sovereign, and he longs to draw us closer through the trials and suffering that we go through. God's promises to you are that he will never leave you. He will never let you stumble. He will uphold you with his righteous right hand. And he tells us to take heart because he has overcome the world. Take heart and remember that Christ took the cross for us. Through his sacrifice, we are safe in him. There's no greater comfort than that sentence. Our sins, not in part, but the whole, were nailed to the cross and we bear it no more. Take heart because we are more than conquerors through him that has loved us. God will never leave us. Take comfort and take heart in that today.